This is your KCTV 5 News Update. Neighbors and family are grieving this morning after five people were not able to get out of a house fire at Northwest 72nd in Avalon yesterday. It happened after 11 a.m. The cause of that fire remains under investigation. Police say two of the victims died. Two other are in critical condition. The fifth is believed to be stable. FBI and local law enforcement are investigating this morning the discovery of a body buried at a home in Grain Valley. Officers say they believe the victim was reported missing. KCTV5 searched court documents and found the owner of the home is Michael Hendricks. Records show he is currently in the Jackson County Detention Center. At this time, police have not linked Hendricks to the search of those remains found, but the family of the victim have been notified. At this time, police have not said if any arrest has been made in this case. The superintendent of Kearney Schools is resigning. Dr. Matthew Miller is leaving the district effective immediately. The school board accepted Dr. Miller's resignation and will appoint an interim superintendent as soon as possible. In March, Miller was ticketed on suspicion of driving under the influence. He planned to contest the citation. Happening today, hundreds of homeless people could end up back on the streets. Kansas City put them up in a hotel for the last 90 days, but now funding for that program is running out. Caseworkers say that they've been working to line up housing for everyone. The Kansas City Homeless Union has plans to return to the lawn outside City Hall, but that area has since been gated off. City officials say it will stay gated until an underground parking garage is repaired. The Storm Track 5 weather alert posted for our Thursday. Active weather expected from the time that you're heading out through it this morning until the time that you head to bed tonight. Across most of our viewing area, I'm tracking an 80% chance of scattered showers and thunderstorms moving across our area for today. The first wave will be moving into the Kansas City Metro between about 6 and 10 o'clock this morning, but that'll just be the first wave. Off and on, we have thunderstorm chances from this morning extending into this afternoon and this evening. Temperatures is holding steady all day long with these thunderstorms in the upper 70s and lower 80s. We will be watching for the potential for some brief wind gusts, some small hail. The biggest concern for our area with this unsettled day, the potential for additional flooding and flash flooding that we'll be watching for you today. Turn to KCTV 5 News for the latest all day. This is your personalized update because KCTV 5 News stands for you.